Hallelujah. For you are mighty to save. Hallelujah. God, we thank you for your saving power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Everyone needs passion. A love that's never failing. Let mercy fall on me. Well, everyone needs forgiveness, the kindness of the Savior, the hope of nation. Savior, He can move the mountain. My God, my God is mighty to save. Everything I believe in
To your own personal worship with God. Tell Him how much He means to you. Hallelujah. Speak well into the atmosphere. Hallelujah. You might even say.
Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 We worship you, Lord. We give you all the glory, all the honor, Lord. You are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah, Lord. We cry out for your mercy, Lord. We cry out for your glory, Lord. We call out, Lord, for your favor this morning, Lord. We are hungry and thirsty for you, Lord. I pray, Father God. Bless, bless the speaker today, my Lord. Bless the speaker this morning, my Lord. We pray, Father God, that his words will change our lives like never before. I pray, Father God, that we will leave this place different from the way we came in today, Father God. I pray in the name of Jesus, my Lord. We pray, Father God, for your fire this morning, Lord. We pray, Father God, you are welcome in this place, Lord. You are welcome in this place, Lord. Without you, Lord, we might as well go home now, Lord. We want you here this morning with us, my Lord. Hallelujah. Change us, my Lord. Fill us up, my Lord. We are hungry and thirsty for you. And all God's children said, Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. How many of you are blessed this morning? How many of you are blessed this morning? Can I hear hallelujah? I can't hear you. Hallelujah. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. I call out now for the speaker tonight, Prophet Benhiri. Amen. Someone put your hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Quickly, I want everybody to move forward. Amen. I mean, if you feel the spirit of God here already. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those on the back, my eyes is on you. Hallelujah. Come out from the outer court into the inner chambers of the Lord. <laughs> spirit of God is going to bait you with His love today. Hallelujah. I came here and ready. Someone say ready. Ready. Hallelujah. You are in the back. Come forward. Hallelujah. Amen. You see the second row here? The second row is to be occupied. Those are the back. Come. My sister, come. Let's move forward. Closer, closer. Amen. Hallelujah. You know when you stay away from the wood, away from the fire. Yes, I want the fire. You get more chilly. You get closer, you get more hotter. How many wants to be hotter? Hallelujah. My sister from Virginia. All the way from Atlanta. Come, come, come. Come closer. But that's not Atlanta. Praise God. Yabaradadia. Somebody say, I got my mind made up. I got my mind made up. My drama. Somebody say, I got my mind made up. I got my mind made up. My drama. Are you falling asleep? Thank you. Oh, meditating. Okay. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Lift your hands up. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh my soul. Worship is holy name. Sing like me. Oh 
جلیل سالوان بانکا بابا ایلیا مولدو سوله مهله به فکوس ده گلوری من در هده بیا برای خاک شکا بابا ایلا من جلی به پوکوس ایلا موشه که هده بیا بردی بسا سکسپیس هللویا Dio, I need every hour. Oh, bless me now, my Savior. I go to. Jesus, 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 Holy Spirit, we thank you for what you are about to do here. I thank you for what you reveal to me. Thank you because many will be drunk with your spirit, with your glory, with your anointing, and with your Father. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Rebebea Porosh in the Rabba House.
mighty Jesus. It's so glad to see many of you here today. Amen. Amen. Some of you must have ate so much good food yesterday. Ah, to wake up such a time as this. <laughs> Hallelujah. If you're out of state, let me see your hands up. Out of state, out of this New York. Hallelujah. So we all see this in security and myself. Amen. Glory to God. Sing this song with me. Glory, glory. I don't know if you know that song. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Seek and you shall find. And, and I found, you know, I've, I'm getting fed every day, every day, and, you know. You know, one thing about hunger, hunger is crazy. Yes. Yes. I mean, if you know that. Yes. Hunger is serious. You can get so hungry, and the Lord will begin to connect to crazy men. Of crazy appetite. <laughs> Hallelujah. I mean, if you know that. This is another woman of God. She somehow connected with me because she was hungry. Hallelujah. Give her the microphone. I want to see how she connected to me. Strange. Go ahead. Tell the people how we connected. Um, we connected originally through um, a women's conference. I mean, a women's group. And he used to come here, guest speaker, every year for quite a few years. There was a lady I met in Israel. Yep, there's a woman on fire for God. Ruth Trimbola, and he met through... Uh, um, when they were on their trip to Israel, and uh, she loves to seek out men that are on fire, <laughs> so she brought him in. And, uh, Amen. Hallelujah. She's the, she's the president of the healing room in Virginia. Amen. Hallelujah. So a lot of people come to that region to receive healing. So if you need really healing emotionally, um, I mean, food, food for the womb, this is the woman you should meet. God is using her powerfully. Somebody put your hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You see, the people are carrying, they're not just babies, they are eagles. Amen. Hallelujah. Do you hear me? Yes. Powerful people. Yes. And I don't just meet, I don't just meet them just anyhow. Yes. They're not just supernatural. I was in, uh, you know, the funny story about connecting with her. I was in uh, Jerusalem and uh, we did Benny Hinn thing. And so we were asked to go to the upper room. Hallelujah. Please go just a little bit, brother, a little bit. Amen. And we were asked to go to the upper room. And they told us that we'll have an encounter. Well, I always love shofar. So I had a shofar with me. Amen. And I was going to blow my shofar. So I went over there. And when I got over there, guess what happened? The rabbis were teaching. And the whole place was quiet. And I, I said, man, I gotta blow the shofar. What is this? 
So I asked, <laughs> I asked the driver, what do I do? He says, you can employ it. I said, are you sure? They are rubber stitching. He said, it doesn't matter. So I started, so what I did, I tried to, I couldn't blow it just like that because that would be annoying, you know? And you could feel the guilt. <laughs> so I started my Pentecostal way. So as I started, everybody within us started speaking in tongues. And you could hear the Jewish people. We are going through our teaching. And I heard the Holy Ghost says, the same fear entered this upper room. And the whole place. Come for us, sister. God bless you. Hallelujah. They said the same place. This was how fear broke out. And everybody were confined to their own place. But this is where noise broke out. And the Holy Ghost noise. They said, don't be fearful. So I started. Rrr, 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 rrr. They couldn't see my mouth moving. Rrr, 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 rrr. So the whole crowd started speaking in tongues. And before you know it, I took the trumpet. And I blasted the shofar. The Jewish people love shofar. As they heard the sound, the whole place went chaos. Minister starts laying hands falling. All I could see was the rabbis coming out. And the Lord said, Look at them, Pharisees. Far to see, Pharisee. Look at them. They're living. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. Somebody say radical. Somebody say radical. Amen. What a privilege. Well, today you're going to receive something great. Amen. Something great. I've not slept. I've not slept, so the Lord will allow me to sleep. Hallelujah. I only slept probably for one hour. As I got home one hour straight, the Lord woke me up, and that was it. And the rest was, I was drunk. And I pray you can't to say, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. How many of you are ready to receive? You really mean business with God today. You don't want to go back empty. I mean, if you're ready for that. Hallelujah. Man, I feel so good today. Shout out to Allah, my God. Well, let's look at your eyes on Jesus. Put your eyes on Jesus and sing this song with me. It's a simple song. You've heard this song before. God, you are so good. You see, when you sing this song, remember that many lives have died. Many of your friends have died. Many of them got killed. Many of them got shot. Many of them got eaten up by cancer. But you survived it all. Your children survived it. Just sing this song with, thank you, Lord. Remember that crazy accident that almost knocked you off and God rescued you. Sing that song with meaning. When the quietness of where you are and the meaning is with you of your heart, the depth of your heart. Some of you don't have money. Some of you slept in your car. Don't worry, sister. I'll tell you what to go to Shabbat. Okay. Relax. Hallelujah. Amen. So we see some things taking place. People slept in their car, no money, debt on every side, but God rescued you. Rescued you. With meaning, with sincerity in your heart, sing the song. God, you are so good. God, you are so good. God, you are so good. You are so good to me. Come say hello to the people. I beg of you, come, come. 
will be ministering the service tomorrow. It's going to be awesome. Hallelujah. I love this man of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I, I heard that this man waits upon the Lord. <laughs> hungry, hungry, hungry. Amen. Come say hello to the people, please. Put your hands together for the Lord. He's the, he's the shepherd of this house. Amen. Peace to everybody. I am very pleased to receive you here today. It's, um, it's, I'm very happy to receive this man of God here today. Each and one of you. We can see that the presence of God is really here today. I have a certainty that today, this morning, it's going to mark each and one of you in Jesus' name. God bless you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. Lord, We have to watch today. <laughs> my father, my father. No rush, man of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You get tired, brother. It's a privilege. Angelic hands upon you in the name of Jesus. Amen. You see, in heaven, the worship is so huge. Every time you worship, God Himself charms Himself. Can you hear me? Had an encounter with God. Hallelujah. Had an encounter with God. While he was doing Bible study, he was taking the reps of the Spirit. Guess what he saw? You know what he saw? All of a sudden he saw something. He saw angels going around the throne of God. And every time he says, they begin to worship him. Holy, holy. And the more they say holy, God shows them on that side. Holy. And they keep praying. He says, my goodness, why do they keep shouting holy, holy? He said, because they keep seeing the new side of God. And they get shocked all the time. Are you hearing me? What is worship? He enthrones and praises in habits. 
So in praises, you can still talk, you can still speak, but in worship, it kicks you off the throne. I'm the driver. Listen to me. And when he's the driver, no devil can touch you. Are you hearing me? Yes. This is when you now access the sacred place of the Most High. This is when you come to that place of rest, to that bosom of the Almighty. Are you hearing me today? Yes. This is when you begin to see like him, talk like him. Oh, today you will enter that rest. I say you will enter that rest. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We give you the praise and the glory and the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Quickly, let's open our scriptures to John chapter 14. Now you can have the rest. <laughs> the joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord. Is my oh, sing that song. I got my mind. Say, Jesus is sitting beside me. Say, my friend, my savior, I can feel your presence. <laughs> Glory to God. John chapter 14. Just in case, he pours another song in my life. In my mouth. How many of you know that song? I will bless the Lord and give him glory. I will bless his name and give him all the glory. I'm not, I'm not thinking about songs. Just enter it. Amen? Jesus is receiving your worship today. Before I came in, it looks like you guys really entered in and pressed on in God. Put your hands together for William and the team. Amen. I love your first name. What do you call it again? What's the name? Ralph. My goodness, Ralph. Beautiful name. Beautiful name. Beautiful name. My goodness. Man, you can, you can never stay single without him, you know that. Beautiful. Put your hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I also love my brother here. Amen. Uh, Louis. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The man with the, the pizza's anointing. The man with the bottles. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. You will host a huge revival very soon. Amen. 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 Huge revival. Amen. Praise God. Go be Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 
Amen. Amen. Bless God and bless any other minister in the house. I'm here to come. Amen. All the way, my sister, all the way from Atlanta. Oh, Georgia. Gavaston. Put your hands together for her. She's here with her sister. Amen. And uh, my sister Iris, all the way from Florida. Put your hands together for her. Is that my sister Teresa? My goodness, she's bothering me on the phone over and over and over. Put your hands together for her. She came all the way yesterday. Wow. Amen. Where's my sister folding her hands? Man, it's going to be all, all right, y'all. It's going to be all right. Everybody says it's going to be all right. Amen. God bless you. All the way from Jamaica. Ay, ya, 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 ya. My My family. Somebody put your hands together for the Lord. Amen. Amen. My sister, uh, over there at the back. How are you? God bless you. Where are you from again? See it. From Queens. God bless you. Put your hands together for her. Hallelujah. She found us on the internet, by the way. So, amen. I want to share something very quickly on the Holy Spirit. Somebody say the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Amen. So today, amen, the God is going to reignite our fire, reconnect us back to the source. Yes. Are you hearing me today? Yes. In the beginning, the Bible said the Spirit of God moved upon the waters. And before God could do anything, His Spirit had to move. Hallelujah. And when the Spirit moved, that is a worship. But in the moving, God had to speak. Amen. And this is what we are reading now, the Word of God. But before the Word of God will come alive, there has to be an intimacy between the Word of God and the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Nothing can be real until you speak the Word. How many of you know that? For you to see the manifestation, you need to speak it. Hallelujah. And all of a sudden, after the Spirit of God moved and hovered, the Bible says, before then, there was crazy darkness. Evil. All around. My Jesus. What happened all of a sudden? You see, the guy is not drunk now. He's contacted the Holy Ghost. He doesn't want to stop. <laughs> I've stopped. He's going to. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> glory to God. I tell you, it's a glory training today. Glory. Ay, 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 ay. Amen. So what happened? As the Spirit of God began to move, the man of God stood up. Because the Bible says the earth was void. Everything was empty. And but with divine authority, it said, let there be light. And light shone. It's revealed. And God began to put this in order. Everything was being arranged. Why? The audacity of the Word of God. When the Word of God and the Spirit of God is unified in your spirit, something erupts inside of you. Are you hearing me? If a man is to grow, abide in your world. Look at Joshua chapter 1. Let's quickly go there. We are coming back to that John 14. Joshua chapter 1. Kole ben dalaba suda. My brother. 1 8. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. This book of the Lord shall not depart out of your mouth, but you shall meditate on it by day and by night, so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it. For then you shall make your way prosperous, and then you shall act wisely. You shall have what? Success. Good success. success. Amen. So I'm going to say good success. Good success. Matthew chapter 1. Matthew chapter 1. I'm going to say Matthew. So Psalm chapter 1. The book of Psalms chapter 1. Are you reading or you are just reciting? No, I know that. Stand up and say with boldness now. Oh, sorry, you don't have the Bible. Sorry. Okay, chapter 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight. Somebody say his delight. delight. Somebody say his delight. delight. Somebody say his joy. joy. Hallelujah. Man of God, I don't, have I met you before? You just have like met you somehow. Hallelujah. But continue. You have a strong hunger for God. Amen. Continue. Hallelujah. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And his law does he meditate day and night. He said what? Verse 3. He shall be like what? A tree. A tree planted by the rivers of water. And bringeth forth his what? 
fruit in his season and his leaf and whatsoever I do it are you serious whatsoever even when he does the wrong thing because of the word he what he what so if you are meditating on the word of God something happens in your life you become an oracle you become a voice hallelujah a force to reckon in so even failure dies expires from your life but an emptiness of God's word makes you void to satanic attack hallelujah when you are rooted grounded in the word immovable something happens you begin to speak like a lion are you hearing me today there is an audacity a blind man was at a beautiful gate. While he was there abiding at the beautiful gate, what happened? We saw that when Peter gathered before them, the Bible says, at the time of prayer, yeah. the time of prayer, what is the time of prayer? The time when you go to the gym. The time, you know, when athletes, athletes they gather together, they begin to work out. And that is the time. And then you see, you, you, you or let's say, let me give an instance. You have like some karate guys practicing karate or wrestling. And that is when a wrong guy says he wants to rob you. In the midst of that practice, what happens to that guy? You will beat him. But the Bible says, during the hour of prayer, this great man, they gather after praying in tongues, entering in power. They came out of prayer as we were about to enter into prayer again. The blind man was asking for arms. And Peter says, look on us. Look on us. Look on us. What do you see? In the name of Jesus, rise and walk. And that was the end of the story. Can you hear me today? When you get to the place of prayer, there is an anointing that falls upon you. Somebody say anointing. Anointing. Let me tell you something. How many people pray, but sometimes they don't pray in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Smith because what ministry changed after the Holy Ghost came upon him. Not in a young age, at an old age. When he encountered Jesus, he began to pray without, he could not stop. He could not be hindered. The Holy Ghost took over him. When the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you can take a literal word of God and you can go deep in mysteries in the river of God. I mean, if you understand that. Amen. Give me that bag. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I was praying for you. And the Lord said, Sanctify water for you. Drink this water. Are you hearing me? You'll be cleansed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you too, my sister. People are looking at me. Say, look at this strange guy. I'm following the wave of the Spirit of God. And you too. The Holy Spirit will cleanse you. Yes, I need it. Hallelujah. Now water is not ordinary because I prayed for a while. I wanted to drink the water. I said, no, this is for somebody else. Thank you, But I know what entered in there. My hand was hot. Hallelujah. My brother knows. He knows I didn't go to bed. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. The Spirit of God, they call it the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Spirit of God, in the Greek word, it says wind. Wind means pneuma. You can't predict the movement of the Spirit of God. You must follow the radar, the moving of the Spirit of God. They can come right from left, but you must follow the cloud. Somebody say, follow the cloud. Oh, there is a light that is about to shine upon your life. Every hold of fear. That is over your life today by divine authority. I break that power in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I say I break that power in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. If your image can be loud, it shall manifest in your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 John chapter 14. Okay, so to so notice Psalm 1. Psalm 1 says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the God, nor standeth in the way of sinners. You remember that verse 3 that we read? Yeah. It shall be what? Like a, like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Okay, John chapter 14. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 
verse, verse 1. It says, What? Well, let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God. Believe also in me. In my father's house, there are many merchants. Mm -hmm. If it were not so, I have told you, I go prepare. to prepare a place so for you. Yeah. Amen. Now, he's telling the people that I'm about to go. Now, these are people who are his close associates, his disciples. But hear what he said. Hallelujah. Look at what he says. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. There is a, a scripture, verse 21. It says, He that had my commandments and keepeth them, he is that, it is he that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be loved with my father, and I will love him and manifest myself unto him. Amen? Amen. Verse 23. Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my works. My father will love him, and we will come unto him and make a board with him. Hallelujah. Then look at what it says down now. This is where I'm going to. Now, in verse 26, but the comforter. Somebody say, but the comforter. But the comforter. Which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name. He shall teach you all things. Bring all things to your remembrance. Hold it there. Jesus introduces himself. He says, I am meek and lowly. Learn of me. Jesus himself, introduced himself. Now he's here by introducing the Holy Spirit. He says, I'm the comforter. He's coming. When the Holy Spirit is upon your life, you hear me? You go through situations and troubles and afflictions. This is where you derive your comfort. It's revealing the personality, the third personality that brings comfort in your life. When this comfort is upon you, you live a life of rest and joy. Amen. Without the Holy Ghost, you can never experience the joy of God. Yeah. You, are sh you are shaking on the inside. Mm -hmm. You are terrorized by every moving object. Mm -hmm. Are you hearing me? Oppression on every side. Mm -hmm. For you to increase in the oil of the Spirit, this is when oppressions expire from your life. Hallelujah. Are you hearing me today? Yes, I receive. When the Holy Spirit engages and enters you, you feel love. You feel saturated with God's presence. Yes. It's an abiding place. Yes. Some of us don't understand the strength of the Holy Ghost. We are so much in this mind. Somebody says it's mine. mine. That's why you have to read the word of God. Because the Bible says, let this mind of God be what? In this mind of what? Christ. Yes. So that your mind be renewed. When your mind is renewed, transformed, mm -hmm. then you begin to see like him, talk like him, reason like him. But when you don't read the word of God, the old nature blocks your perception. Mm -hmm. The old nature becomes a veil for everything you see. Mm -hmm. You begin to see from what? The old man. Mm -hmm. yeah. But when the spirit of God begins to lead you, mm -hmm. someone say lead you. Lead lead you. you. Lead it's a powerful you. message. Mm -hmm. Lord, lead me, Lord, lead me in this month of November. Month of November. Somebody lift your hand and say, Lord, 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 lead me, lead me. In, this in this month of November. Do you know that many people that are led in the wrong path? Amen? Mm -hmm. See, the comforter is also revealed as the spirit of truth. Somebody say spirit of truth. Spirit. Somebody say spirit of truth. Spirit. The spirit of truth has a way that it reveals itself in a very powerful way. When the spirit of truth is upon you, listen to me. I think I said if you're following our periscope, how many of you are on our periscope? Nobody, okay. For today you will apply. <laughs> Amen. I know if you're on our, on, on our prayer line at night at 5 a.m. in the morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. And uh, it's very, very, very powerful and very engaging. It will revive you. But the Holy Spirit has a way of ministering to us in diverse ways. Amen. You see, wind is a spirit. But one thing he says, he said, What? He will comfort you. The next thing we are seeing is that what is a teacher? Somebody say teacher. Teacher. It brings illumination. There are so many things that are written, but when you begin to read the word of God, it brings clarity. It brings great understanding. You begin to see differently from the way others see. Amen? You begin to reason sharply than others. This is the distinction of the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit comes, he can just like Enoch. The Bible says the Enoch sat 
and he was reading the word of God, he was confused. The more he read, the more he got confused. So the Holy Spirit dialed Steve's number. Uh, Philip. Philip dragged him, pulled Philip to the eunuch. And Philip began to teach the guy. He said, what, what do you want? He said, I need to understand the scriptures. And the Spirit of God began to speak to Philip. Took the guy after the teaching, baptized him in water. Are you hearing me? That's what happened. Cornelius, same thing happened. He was not baptized in the Holy Ghost. Pray, pray, pray. Love the Lord. Give him much arms, offerings to the body of Christ. And then all of a sudden, one day, I don't know if you know that scripture. Acts chapter 10. Let's go there quickly. Acts chapter 10. Oh, I want you to move. I want somebody else to read it. Yeah. You okay, brother? Well, enjoy yourself. I like this brother. I like this brother. <laughs> well, only, I like, I love you guys. Only one thing. You, are, you came late. Only one thing. That's the only thing. You guys, you guys came late. You didn't start on time, right? Okay. All right. All right. But you know, but next time, next time. I see, man, I see you're going to be giving an award very soon. Mm. Mm. Awards. I see awards coming. Mm. You're going to be celebrated on it. Mm. Mm. Jesus. Is somebody there? Read yes. your chapter 10, verse, verse 1. one. Verse one. Is somebody that's feeling the joy Amen. of God in the house? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay. Go ahead with There was a certain man in Caesarea called Cornelius, a centurion of what was called the I. An Italian uh, regiment, a mm -hmm. devout man, and one who feared God with all his household, who gave alms generously to the people and prayed to God always. <coughs> About the ninth hour of the day, he saw clearly in a vision an angel of God coming in and saying to him, Cornelius. And when he observed him, he was afraid and said, What is it, Lord? So he said to him, Your prayers and your arms have come up for a memorial before God. Now send men to Joppa and send for Simon, whose surname is Peter. He is lodging with Simon, a tanner, whose house is by the sea. He will tell you what you must do. And when the angel who spoke to him was departed, Cornelius called two of his household servants and a devout, so devout soldier from among those who waited on him continually. So when he had explained all things to them, he sent them to Joppa. The next day, as they went on their journey and drew near the city, Peter went up on the house top to pray about the sixth hour. Mm. Then he became very hungry and wanted to eat. Mm. But while they made ready, he fell into a trance mm. and saw heaven open mm. and an object like a great sheet bound mm. at the four corners descending to him and let down to the ground. Mm. In it were four were all kinds of four-footed animals of the earth, wild beasts, creeping things, and birds of the air. And a voice came to him, Arise, Peter, kill and eat. But Peter said, Not so, Lord, for I have never Stop eaten it. anything. Stop it. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now you see something very unique here. Amen. During the place of what? Prayer. God was ministering to Cornelius as well as ministering to who? Peter. To Peter. Mm -hmm. So God, there was no internet, there was no Facebook. If not, God would have used the Holy Ghost, the Facebook. <laughs> this is the case of those who are running from Facebook. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at my brother. You understand, right? Amen. <laughs> amen. But amen. But God had to connect individuals. God himself could have carried the Holy Ghost and dropped it on Cornelius. If you read the story to the end, we don't have time. But the Bible says that, amen, when Peter went to the house and began to speak, while he was speaking, the Holy Ghost fell on them. Because that was the original intention. Are you hear me today? When the Holy Ghost wants to bring something to your life, the spirit of truth, the Bible says it will lead you into what? It will lead you into what? All truth. Without the Holy Ghost, you will make wrong choices. Without the Holy Ghost, you will get into wrong relationships. Without the Holy Ghost, you will locate your deliverance. 
and you will locate your hair. Mm. Are you hearing me? Mm. And anybody that will take you to the valley, you'll find them. But when you make the Holy Ghost your best friend, mm -hmm. they will, you always find people that will take you to the mountain. That will take you to the place you will success, that you will succeed, the place you will excel. Are you hearing me today? Amen. And this is what happens when the Holy Ghost begins. It brings people into your life to empower you to what you desire in Him. Hmm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The word of God, sometimes when you pray the Holy Ghost at some certain realms and you settle down, some of us will rush away quickly. I'm a victim of that myself. When you, how many of you pray in tongues here? Yeah. Only one, two, three. How many of you really pray in the Holy Ghost? Let me see your hands. Amen. How many of you have prayed in tongues for one hour straight, non-stop? Anybody? Okay. The kind of tongues I'm talking about when you start praying in tongues, and it's, when you start speaking in tongues, it may seem so hard. So hard. It's like trying to crank your car and during the winter. Seems so hard, but just continue. Press on. Press on. Five minutes go, ten minutes go. And sometimes, you, let me tell you something. You know, you know the easiest way? Celebrant and live yours. You, so you are scanning the whole book of Psalms and you are reading. Yes. You are praying the Holy Ghost. Rebe baby Akatus. And you, before you know it, chapter 1 is gone, chapter 2, chapter 3, chapter 4, chapter 5, and it's very sweet. Somebody's calling you, you want to talk to them. Oh man, this is sweet. But it reaches a realm whereby even when you stop, your mouth is a brr, brr, brr. Hey, once you reach that realm, <laughs> you're in a dangerous place. <laughs> Amen. Amen. This morning, that was what happened. When you begin to pray, 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 pray till, even when you're in the shower, it's still flowing. You want to stop, but you can't stop. What is going on? I'm so insaturated. Amen? This is what happened to Kenny Hagin. He spoke and spoke and spoke till he began to see cloud of glory. He said, hey, people fall under the anointing just by that. Are you hear me? Kachukuma was under serious anointing. And the media was coming after her. And they were just, ah, what kind of anointing is this woman? We need to know the source of power. So this man sat at the back, frowning, and was just adamant looking at her. So, something she's using the power after the service. I mean, during the service, he cornered her. I says, Where is the source of your power? She, ah. I told you we have so much power. It's in the basement. Let me come. Follow me. Took the guy downstairs and he saw some women crying for revival, crying for fire. And they were just praying in tongues, and they would be there for hours. Downstairs, while upstairs was heated in glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Oh, there are some times that you pray in tongues, eh? You just pray and you pray. Sometimes, you know what I do? Virginia. Sometimes, I, you know what I do? I just place a worship. Let it blast it in my ears. And I'm going. <laughs> but there's a realm you reach. It's like autopilot. You start cruising. Somebody say cruising. cruising. Once you start cruising, there's a liberty in your spirit. At that time, the Holy Ghost can snatch you anywhere, any place. And if any devil make a mistake to attack you, to think evil of you, it backfires. Someone say backfires. <laughs> I'm trying to make you a Holy Ghost machine. <laughs> when the devil sees your house, they see a chimney on your head. Global tongues of fire. <laughs> Someone say global tongues of fire. There's a level you pray that even when the devil sees you, you know something has happened to you. Ezekiel chapter 20. Ezekiel 20. Hold up, I'm How many of you are enjoying what you mm -hmm. yes, bless you. Oh. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Okay, I have to come back there. I have to come back there. Hallelujah. I'll come back there. Well, Second Corinthians chapter 13. I'll come back there. Second Corinthians chapter 13. When you get there, please read it with me. Uh, verse 14.
Second Corinthians. Hallelujah. Somebody there? The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ mm -hmm. and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Ghost be with you all. Amen. Mm. Amen. And the grace. Somebody say the grace. And the grace. Oh, the Somebody say the grace. The grace. And the love of God. And the love of God. And the sweet fellowship. Why did he say the sweet fellowship? Amen? Meaning, if you don't commune with the Holy Spirit, you will never have an interaction. Do you know that the Holy Spirit is your best friend? Yes. The Holy Spirit plays the role of Jesus. Yes. How do you interact with the Holy Spirit? Without a question, you can never be guaranteed an answer. Amen? Amen? There are situations you go through in your life, especially in your dreams. Have you ever wondered when you ask, who is this friend? Why is he in my life? Just a little question. Mm -hmm. When you go to bed, it's like the whole realm change. God begins to show you how this guy is conspiring against you. Mm -hmm. Ah! It is how it is. But that little conversation you're having with the Holy Spirit, you don't even know you're communing with the Holy Spirit. Sometimes you're driving. Oh, I get it. Oh, I get it. Yes. Oh, I get it. Yes. My God is holy. He is holy. He is holy. My God is holy. He is holy. Is holy, my God is holy, my God is holy, is holy, 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 my God is holy. And I see we sing it again. My God is holy, is holy, is holy, my God is holy, is holy. Is holy, my God is holy, my God is holy, is holy, holy, holy. You know, the same way I received this song, I just finished prayer and I just meditating over something, and this song came. My God is holy. Is holy, holy, holy. When you are so wrapped up in God's presence, He puts songs in your mouth. That's when you start writing songs. Sometimes you start writing journal. Are you hearing me today? It's very powerful. You get to that place whereby you tap, you get into this realm with God. Are you hearing me today? Now, that one. How do you get those songs? Say perception. Say intuition. There is a puff that comes to you. You just think of something. And God interrupts you. You don't even know where it's coming from. Oh, oh, oh. This is an idea. Oh, put it down, write it down. Some people just let their thoughts pass. No. That is the mind of God. Are you hearing me today? <laughs> My God is holy. My God is holy, is holy, holy, holy. My God is holy. My God is holy, is holy, is holy. My God is holy, is holy, is holy. My God is holy. My God. Is holy, is holy, holy, holy. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And in that moment, sometimes you could just feel like you should have been. Is it focus going on? Why am I feeling this? And when you start praying, God will say, Oh, it's for that brother. Oh, it's for your son. Oh, it is going through something. 
be calling. Oh, what's going on? God begins to speak to you that way. That's what I call fellowship with the Holy Spirit. So I say fellowship. When your mind is engaged with God, you are in the heavenly places. He's not on the earth. And guess what? The devil wants to relegate our mind to be like a chicken. My God. You look on the ground for petty issues. Look at our food through the ground. Don't do that. I don't know if you know chickens. They go to every street, every corner. I don't know if you know that. If you lose a chicken now, in that street, in that street, in that street, and they're fighting. Conflict, conflict. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. The fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. First John chapter 2, verse 27. We are about to do this prayer. How long have I been speaking? Hallelujah. First John chapter 2, verse 27. Somebody read for me. But the anointing which ye have received, the anointing which you have received of him, yes, abideth in you, abideth in you. And ye need not that any man teach you. You need not any man teach you. We'll stop there. The anointing that comes upon you, the power of the spirit that comes upon you, when it comes upon you, you say you don't need any man to teach you. Why? Because this same teacher brings their best books in town. Mm -hmm. When you are asking for deliverance, he begins to bring books of deliverance. Mm -hmm. You're asking for to, to, to work with God, he brings a minister your way. Mm -hmm. He begins to do the dealings, and you don't need to do it. Just get hungry. Somebody say, get hungry. Get hungry. Mm -hmm. Keep reading. As the same anointing teacheth you of all things, and is truth, the anointing teaches you all things. Yeah. So it all things. All things. Go ahead. And is no lie. It does not lie. Mm -hmm. Say it does not lie. It does not, not lie. lie. <laughs> if you want to quench the Holy Ghost, start telling lies. No lie. Amen. The Holy Spirit will never dwell in the mortal man that is corrupt in their heart, mm -hmm. that is deceitful. If you, if you want to align yourself or be compatible with the Holy Spirit, the first thing you want to do is to live a life of what? Holiness. Did you drink some water already? Me? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. You live what? Holy. Let me tell you something. The spirit of truth releases its attributes and is a spirit of what? Sincerity. Honesty. Somebody say sincerity. sincerity. Honesty. 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 Purity. Purity. When these natures are in you, you will see that the light of God has its free course in your life. And this is when, when you go to sleep, even the enemy cannot, will try to corrupt you, but you will not prosper. Amen? Amen. Amen. The anointing will teach you all things that you need to know. Hallelujah. 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 And so the reason why many of us are not tapping into that rain is because we don't pray the spirit for a while. The anointing. Acts chapter 10, verse 38. Acts 10, 38. When you get there, please read it. Read loud. God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, who went about doing good. Oh, read it loud again. Read it loud again. Read it again. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. With what? The Holy Spirit. And with what? Power. Mm. Holy Ghost and with power. Somebody say power. 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 Somebody say power. 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 
There's a man in Nigeria they call Babalola. He was the man that started the greatest move of God in Nigeria. Amen? This man of God fasted for 19 days without water. Wow. His intestine began to cut. When he finished the fasting, he was locked in jail for three times. Ask me why. Why? He goes to an hospital and hope and hold the gates of the hospital. Every sick man be healed. He walks away. All of a sudden, the next day, people who were sick jack back from their bed, come out from their bed and they're healed. Walk out of the hospital. And doctors had to put him in jail because of the healing anointing on this man. The walk in places that had voodoo, he breaks the witchcraft power. It's like no man business. Go and just use this man. This man was praying all time in the mountain. Pray, pray, pray. The whole day went. When he opened his eyes, he saw a big python dried up, dead beside him. Python died because of prayer. Are you kidding me? Yes. When this man went to when this man went to be with the Lord, he died. The another man of God. There's a mountain in Nigeria. This mountain, people go there to pray. They call it a prayer mountain. Ministers climb there to go pray. And if you really want to know what they call prayers, people go there and they pray for 14 hours non-stop. Some 18 hours non-stop. If you think you can pray, go there. You will see some mad people. There was one man. Are, this is a pillar here. And that's a pillar. He stood in between. And he asked his friend. And this one I witnessed it. He said, tie me up. So they tied his hand to that pillar. And this hand to that pillar. He said, don't come back. For the next three days. Are you sure? Go to this restaurant. He said, leave me alone. Just go. And he stood there and began to cry. When the sun was shining bright on him. He said, God, if you called me, put an oil upon my life. He prayed and he prayed. Lord, break my flesh. Kill me, O God. Let me die. Let me die. Prayed. But there was something that happened. After this prayer, he was wondering, what, what do I pray? What do I pray? Then he remembered Babalola, the man who died. Lord, the anointing that made Babalola great to put upon my life. I need this anointing. He began to cry. He began to cry. Pour this anointing. As he was crying, he saw the heavens change color. Somebody say change color. Change color. From blue to red. And this cloud began to move quick. I was coming down. And you know, he, he, he said, what is this vision I'm seeing? And this thing was coming, it was like fire. He screamed. Father, have mercy upon me. <laughs> because he was about to die. Not in the literal sense, but God was about to fill him with power, but he thought he was going to die. But he, God will not kill him. God was trying to put something on him that the humans have never seen before. But that scared him. Have mercy! And he saw only one hand with oil drop on him. From that day, he began to raise the dead all over in Nigeria. There are crazy people that pray. There's another man. You see two men. <laughs> come, come, let me show you. Let me give you an example. I don't think, I don't think some people understand. Come, come on the stage. Face, face that way. Okay. So he has a whip and I have a whip. Say fire. 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 So, so we are saying this. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. If it slows down, I whip it. <laughs> If I slow down, he whips me. So when I say fire, you say, fill me now. Holy Ghost. Fill me now. Holy Ghost. Fill me now. This is how you were praying. Hmm. When the other brother is shouting, Holy Ghost, fill me now. Fill me now. And I will say, fire. Fill me now. Fill. And he will shout out too. When I shout fire, he says, fill me now. When he shouts, fill me now, I shout fire. If I slow down after five hours, he whips me. That's the covenant. It's not because it's just to wake us up from slumber. Mm -hmm. And by the time you are done, you are a soldier, a pillar. Mm -hmm. Somebody say a pillar. pillar. A lion. lion. When you stand in the place of prayer, this is what we call prayer stamina. Mm -hmm. When you pray and pray and pray. I forgot in those times of prayer. So there was a prophet that came to our church. He was seven. Came to our church. He in soul. And this was years ago. And when he came, he began to groan like that, my friend, in the mountain. And I forgot him. I've been eating burgers and all those things. So I've 
So when he began to groan, he says, Come here. And he wanted me to do the same thing. Woo! I, I said, Man of God, levels have changed. I was breathing too fast. I said, Please do this. Let's slow down. I had to go to my car to take a breath and rest. But there is a ray of anointing that when it comes upon your life, Let me tell you something. In that mountain, when we prayed so much, there was a stick in a tree. You remember a stick? So there was a stick in a branch, so we cut the stick. I just took the stick as a walking stick to support myself. Amen? To what? Somebody say support. Support. Somebody say support. Support. Somebody say support. Support. And I took the stick to support myself. And I went to my school. When I went to my school then, back in Nigeria, there was this lady, she flirts around all the time in school with people. She came to flirt with me and she said, where is this stick? She grabbed the stick, and she grabbed the stick, she starts confessing. She starts confessing all the witchcraft activities that's been going on, what she's been doing, all that stuff. I'm like, what? She didn't even know. That's what fire does. That's what fire does, breaks limitations and hindrances. Amen? When the fire of God comes, the Bible says that even, is it Elijah? He had to put salt in the water, Jordan. And everyone who drank it got healed. That's what the Holy Ghost will do. Today, if you have not been filled with the Holy Ghost, today is your day. Hallelujah. I say what? Today. Say today is my day. Say today is my day. Have you been filled with the Holy Ghost before? No. How many of you been filled with the Holy Ghost? No. Okay. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, how do you get filled with the Holy Spirit? When this anointing comes upon you, Psalm 23. Remember that scripture says, Sit down, anointed my head with oil. And my what? My cup runneth over. I'm running off now because we must have time to wash your feet. Amen. One of the mysteries about this speaking in tongues has been greatly misunderstood. Many of us, when I was uh, asking God to fill me with the Holy Spirit, I had so much uh, teachings. And I just said, no, Holy Ghost, you can do it. And I prayed and I prayed, asking the Lord. I won't fast it. But I've always wanted the Holy Spirit to come and move my tongue. Somebody say, move my tongue. Move my tongue. <laughs> just move my tongue so, I could, so that the Holy Spirit can speak. And the Holy Spirit said, it's not that way. Many times I wake up in my dream speaking in tongues. But to really speak it, I can't speak it. I say, what is wrong? And I've got so, so many teachings, crazy teachings. So one day, One day, the Holy Spirit opened my eyes. You know what he said? You want to hear it? Yeah. <clears throat> a baby, I went to a family and a baby, she was four or five years old, began to speak in a dialect, a different language. Mm -hmm. Was speaking in the language of the mother. So I was like, whoa, how is that happening? I don't understand that language, but, it, but this baby is speaking in that dialect. I said, oh, now I get it. So now, when you see a Chinese baby at six years old, it's able to communicate with the mother in Chinese language. How? Have you ever wondered how? So the more the mother interacts or speaks, the child looks at the mother's words, mm -hmm. understands, and communicates in that way. Mm -hmm. Now, the Holy Ghost is the same way. The Holy Ghost gives us words and languages to speak. Amen? Amen. But when we use these words, the words of the words of or the words, the Holy Ghost or the tongues itself is sound. Somebody says sound. Sound. Somebody says sound. Sound. Amen. It's not a vocabulary, it's what? Sound. <laughs> Somebody says sound. Sound. So now, as a child, when you hear the sound of your fellow bedroom in the Lord, how they communicate. When you want to flow in the Spirit of God, how Jesus was anointed with the Holy Ghost and with what? Power. He was smeared with the anointing and with what? Power. And as they spoke, he spoke. So when you begin to see people 
speak in tongues. By you speaking, that gift of tongues, it is a gift. That language is what? A gift. Somebody say gift. Yes. Somebody say gift. Yes. It's not a sin to look at a preacher talking in tongues and he say, hey, rebe, rebe, rebe. and now God now judges you because you speak like him. That's not a sin. How I many of you know that? You can see what they do, do like what they do, but what is lacking in you is power. You can speak the language, but it's the power that needs to come upon you. Is, am, am, I, am I making sense? Yeah. You can quote anything you want to quote. Now, when I first got saved, you must understand that you grow from infantry like a child. And so like a child, you're like, meh, 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 meh. When I first started speaking in tongues, <laughs> you want to hear the story? <laughs> we had Christian brothers in the fellowship, and I was a prayer leader. Amen. And that day, we asked, and the, the preacher asked us that we should fast. We declared this day of fast. So we prepared it already. Next week, Friday, is going to be a day of fast. So me and my friends who were asking for the Holy Spirit, we decided that, you know what? Before that day, we're going to begin an extra day of fast. So we're going to begin on Thursday fast. Thursday, we start fasting and then end with everybody on Friday. And that was the plan. So on that Friday, the preacher stood and began to lead prayers. And when he finished, he said, now, everybody, shall we share the grace so we can go? Now, we've been praying for the Holy Ghost. We have not been baptized yet. As the preacher said, let's share the grace. As everybody was about to share the grace, my friend and me were sitting down. We shared the grace and we're talking. So there was a brother there. There was a brother who just got baptized in the Holy Ghost. How many of you know Pastor Chris? Pastor Chris, no, nobody, okay. Pastor Chris or Yakilome, you don't know him. It's with Benny, all right. Anyways, so this man got baptized by this preacher in the Holy Ghost. So he was speaking tongues. And he came to us. And I'm trying to talk to my brother. He said, Yeah, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost is here. I'm like, What is he saying? I said, Listen, listen, brother. The brother says, No, 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 listen to this guy. The Holy Ghost is here. And this is just after the service was over. And my brother started crap out, croaking. I saw it just hit him. The whole chair bah, collapsed. He started rolling, crap, 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 speaking in tongues. I said, What is this? I can fit now. So it's not the ones we do here now in America. Here. This was, we've been groaning for it. The whole place scatter, chair scatter. Before you know it, three of my brothers received the baptism right there. White fire was breaking out, and I was a prayer leader. I said, What is this? Now, pride is entering me like, Oh, they will receive it. I don't receive it. This will not be embarrassing. So I went to my prayer closet. I said, Go, let's make a deal. Visit me. Said, this is embarrassing. Three people right there, not me. I said, No. So I came out. <laughs> so everybody, everybody were doing their thing. Four more people got baptized, looking at them. And somehow they had compassion. They, they, they surrounded me. It's a man of God. Did you have you got gotten baptized? You better tell the truth now. I said no, no. I said okay. So this brother's lady answered me. No, I was so much shame because I wanted to say yes, but the lady, the hands of my belly. They said, repeat these words, Holy Spirit, come into my life. So I said, Holy Spirit, come into my life. Holy Spirit, come into my life. I said, Holy Ghost, come into my life. But as the lady hands on my belly, I started feeling heat. Holy Spirit, come into my life. Holy Spirit, come into my life. Holy Spirit, come into my life. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Holy And the river started. And I tried to control it, it was just, but it was childish. She wasn't like, Rababa, no, it was like me myself. Is, is that true, Holy Ghost? What is this? Amen. But over time, by the time I lifted my head, before you know it, the whole place erupted in deliverance power. For one month, I was struggling. Is this tongues authentic? Is it fake? So I started hearing other preachers speaking tongues, a capital letter. 
Brakata Kodo. You know, there are some tongues that are very sweet. You can listen to somebody's tongues and you can tell that this one is mature. Or you can tell them they're, in, they're infantry. Or they're still growing. So I listen to mighty preachers. Makata, bakata. I say, I like this one. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll try to mimic it. But sometimes it can be hard. There are some ones I mimic. And then, after for some time, I like the way Americans say their tongues. It's kind of very nice. Amen? Especially their brothers. Man, when they finish washing, they go, hmm, I say, hey, okay. power. Amen? So there's an unction, amen, that we need to flow in and enjoy those languages. Somebody say language. language. It is beautiful amen. when you speak in tongues. Some people speak it once and they leave it alone. They want to pray in English. Let me tell you something. <laughs> if you pray in tongues in English, it's dangerous. How many of you know that? How many of you know that? Jesus was speaking to Peter. And he says, Upon this rock will I build my church. And what? The gates of, gates of hell shall not prevail. And the next thing, Jesus said, Peter said, <laughs> Jesus was saying that he was going to die on the cross, whatever it is. Peter says, Not so. And the devil looked at Peter and said, What? Get thee be what? So it means that the devil was listening to his conversation. If Jesus was speaking in tongues, the devil would not be able to decode it. What is. What is Speaking in tongues, these are hidden mysteries. Somebody say hidden mysteries. Hidden mysteries. What are mysteries? Mysteries are secrets. These are prophecies about your life. You speak not unto man, but unto what? God. So when you are speaking in tongues, you begin to speak mysteries, utter mysteries to the Father. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. So when you are speaking mysteries, you are unlocking hidden mysteries about your life. And you're come, this Bible says this is, a language, this is a language of angels. The devil does not understand what you're speaking. But when you begin to say, Father, as I go to interview today, Father, show me mercy. Show me your favor. In the name of Jesus, as I do this. And then you finish, you enter traffic. A, a, a woman is in front of you. And that woman, she's driving so slow. What is going on? You try to move uh, before the police pulls you over. What is going on? Are you serious? What is that is? And the devil is laughing. <laughs> you don't know I heard your prayers. <laughs> you think you can beat me? No. You want to be what? Be very smart. Because when you're praying the Holy Ghost, it, it, it gives you this longevity and prayer stamina. You can pray for hours. Are you hearing me? I can say, my father, help me do this, do this. And all you can be hearing me is, Regebe, regebe, regebe. But I'm saying so many things in my heart. Mm -hmm. yeah. So my heart is not tired. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you have uh, worked in the tele telecommunications or whatever it is, on, on the phone, and you start talking to all these people, how many of you have been there? Talk and talk, and you get so tired. Mm -hmm. One hour, you come home now, your wife wants to talk to you like, oh, yeah. I beg you, let me rest. <laughs> That's prayers when prayers in English buzz you up. Or in your diet, your language, it buzz you up. But when you begin to pray in tongues, something happens to you. It's beautiful. How many of you want that anointing? Hallelujah. When these tongues come upon you, let go of your mind. Somebody said, let go of your mind. Let go of your mind. Amen. Once this mind is out of the way, you see what people's, you know, one of the first things is that when you're speaking in tongues, there's this guilt that comes comes on you. You feel like you are, you are insane. People will laugh at you if you are speaking a language, or it's weird. Say, mm. so that that manly or egoistic nature is like, ah, uh, no, I, I want to say what I understand, not this thing, uh, amen. Or what, what they call that engineering mind. No, I need to understand what I'm saying. Is it like this? No, just say it's a sound. I say, what say what? It's a sound. When I say rapa paka talks. That doesn't mean I'm saying, let me go. So every time, every time you hear me say, rapper, go, then you say, that man is saying, let me go, let me go. No. <laughs> it's just a sound. Someone say it's a sound. It's a sound. It's a sound. It's a sound. They are massive words. The Spirit helps us, teaches us how to pray. Sometimes we don't know how to pray. But when the Spirit of God comes upon us, He helps us, gives us this unusual grace. Somebody's. We receive a healing anointing today. Amen. I could feel.
feel the right soldier at the shoulder he hit. Somebody's gonna receive a string healing anointing today. Yeah. God's gonna use you to be able to heal the sick. Yeah. Play something quickly. Yeah. Hallelujah. Strength. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this place. Abba Father, you are worthy of all praise, to you our lives we raise, you are awesome in this place, my God, you are awesome, you are awesome. Holy Spirit is a major strength of ministers. Major strength of ministers. If you can pray for four hours every day in tongues, non-stop, very soon you will be in the news media. Very soon you will be on TV. I'm saying it for that child who has a childlike mind. If you can pray for four hours every day in tongues, non-stop, for the next three months, God will announce you to the world. Hallelujah. It's so easy, this talk, it's so easy what I'm saying now, that this thing that I'm saying to you, if you apply these talks four hours every day with fasting, hmm? God will so announce you. This is the secret to many ministers, the secret to great evangelists, great men of God, this simple secret, speaking in tongues. God gives us 12 hours every 24 hours a day. And you have to tight your hours. Two hours and what? 40 minutes. That is your tight. Right? Tight it to God. Do this. If you do this every day. I will say it again because some people are not hearing me. If you can pray for four hours in tongues, non stop. Non stop. Four hours. Someone say four hours. Just four hours. And apply fasting on a weekly basis. You will be a superman. The healing anointing, the grace of God will spring forth. I, I'm not even reach that way. I'm just telling you something. If I do it, if you do it, your life will be changed forever. Amen. It's the simplest key I'm telling you now. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's rise. How many of you feel the touch of God right now? Kalabaru, say prayers. Ilavande lebogoro koko kopro ndore hivi aparish. If you've not been baptized in the Holy Spirit, please come forward. Let me pray with you. Come forward. Good day. Hallelujah. Elevate your levels. Please on the floor, floor. Strings, strings. You got strings? This is one being based as you go. Strings. Mali brand they say bakala bahaya folks. Rebe de rebe bia kora do rebe bia ushika bahas. Ila brand they rebe bia kora rebe bia kora ush. Ila ha. Is there any way you can stretch this one out? Ah, rabba rabba sande de bo saya. E kabala bo sonda hal. This is one. E kabalo rabo shi behe de estis. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Come on, begin to open your mouth and begin to talk to the Lord. Tell the Lord, Lord, fill me with your fire, fill me with your anointing. In the name of Jesus, 
Go ahead. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Rababa, rabba, shande bohos. Zile bendele baby abarandori baby opaya. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Rebebe, rebebe, via paradosh. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. You know me filled with the Holy Spirit. Just lift your hands, my sister. Together, not married. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Lift your hands, just lift your hands, lift your hands. So the Holy Spirit is going to fill you up. It's fine. Pastor, come on, do this. It's time The wind of the Spirit is about to blow. I like that. Increase the volume. Go ahead, begin to begin to listen to me. Talk to Lord. Say, Lord, fill me now. My brother, stand in line for me. Amen. Amen. As many ministers stand before you, I want you to do something. Holy Spirit, fill me up afresh. Are you hearing me? Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. You say, Lord, fill me afresh. I want to heal the sick. I want to set the captives free. I want to deliver the oppressed. I want to cast out devils. Let your healing anointing. Let your power. Let your fire. Let your fuego fall upon me now. Oh, be a matter of the gift of prayer. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Holy Ghost, celebrate the revelation of your life. The wind of the Spirit of God is about to blow. You begin to feel an ultra come upon you. You begin to feel the tongues coming upon you. It's the fire, it's the river of God. It's breaking upon you now. In the name of Jesus, Spirit of God, move upon your people now. In the name of Jesus, say them and we prophesy. Build upon God right now. In the name of Jesus, son of God, and let it be this ghost be Spirit of God, overshadow this ghost now. Let your life, let your glory, let your anointing begin to overshadow this ghost now.
are not exercising this faith. Amen. You need to open your mouth. Hallelujah. Amen. When these tongues come upon you, you are hearing people praying in tongues. Tap into it. Don't close your mouth. Amen. You are ready. You are ready. You are ready. That's it. That's the power of the Lord. Thank you. 
comes with rhythm from your spirit. From today, I give you the territory to this, to this city. In New York, in the name of Jesus, the voice shall be heard. I can see those songs on your spirit. I can see what happens to the rest. It's the rest of God. I said, from today, God will relax your hands. From today, the name of Jesus, the ring of the sun and the fire. God will satisfy your hands. That's it. That's it. That's it. 
Stop it. Stop praying. That's doubt. That's doubt. Let faith arise. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, the anointing of the Lord is upon the life. It's your place. It's your preaching anointing upon you.
pray for our pastor that the spirit of the mantle of the spirit of God fell upon him. A fresh mantle, a lightning like anointing. Rebebe Kaba, Librando Rongo Sunda Bedia, Isatele Meke Bribia Parabia. Strange fire, strange mantle. The breaker anointings upon you. Salabande Lebea Pradish. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, my Jesus. Let the power of God rest upon your servants. Power to reign and to rule down in the midst of your enemies. Let that same power anointed come upon you now. In the name of Jesus. Put your hands together for the Lord. My brother, come here. You are very hungry for God. I like that. You are like a sponge. My only two men to hold it. Like two men to hold it, right? Each one that is offering today, we ask the Lord, open the windows of heaven so that financial life multiply, multiply the life of each one of yours. We are present before you the causes of the church of each family that's represented here. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Sing this song with us. Hallelujah. As we drop our offering, come forward and drop your offering. In the name of Jesus.
like never before. Let the deliverance and the fiery anointing break out in our ministry. Let the wind of the spirit break off. Oh God, send for laborers, laborers of glory, laborers of harvest, laborers of prosperity. In the name of Jesus, I am the voice, the voice to the future, the voice to the world, the voice to the Asia, the voice to Europe, the voice to the world. You will prophesy, you will prophesy, you will preach the word. Let it be right in the word.
let this place be a canopy of revival. Let this house be a place for your presence. Abide in this place. Lord. Let the house of prayer break out in this atmosphere. Draw your servants to this house. Draw men and servants and your liberals into this city. The harvest is plenty, my God. The liberals are free. Raise liberals in this nation. Raise liberals in New York. Let your true prophets emerge in the land. As I release this war, let grace from heaven fall in this city. Let the trumpet of revival break forth in this land. Let your sons and your daughters that have been tied in prison, your intercessors, your pastors, your preachers, your evangelists, your apostles, your prophets, all over this land of New York, Lord, by the release of this water, let them be released. Let them be released. Let them be released. From the regions of the waters from the hills and the mountain top. Let them be released. Minola, I speak to you. Hear the spirit of God. Let the forwards of the of, of the earth, the west, the east, and the south. Let the horns of the wicked in this city be broken. Sons and daughters of God arise. It is your hour. We release the mention of revival. We start up the rivers of God. Prophesy. Let the winds of the spirit break forth. I speak liberty in this region. I speak liberty in this region. Let all tasks be crushed. Oh God, let there be an invasion. An invasion of your fire. The spirit of Elijah and the spirit of Moses. Let them arise in the land. Oh Jehovah. 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 Chief ruling angel in charge of New York right now, right now, let the scroll of revival be unfolded all over the city. We mark the borders of the city with a blood. Let foreign enemies of this city aspire. Let your enemies, oh God, arise and let them be scattered. Everybody say, Let them be. Let them be. I'm going to fulfill the glory here. Very, very strange. Stand up right now. God just said to me now, there is a major prayer request for that my people need to offer to Him. You need to tell the Lord what you want from the Lord. One thing, one special thing. The Lord said, it will happen within six months. Very special. Tell the Lord what you desire from me. Before we go to the worship, go ahead, open your mouth. He proposed a special testimony. Make your request, not before him now. One request before the Father. What do you want me to do for you, Lord? Hallelujah. Nobody's opening their mouth. <laughs> Special request before him. Special request for your members, for your church, for your family, for your children, for your husband, for your wife, for your business. One request. One request. One request. That's your son. That's your daughter. 